Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another video for you guys today. So today is going to be another one of those videos about the uh, player that I'm investing in, which is uh, Christian Pache, center fielder for the Oakland A's. Um, as you guys know, if you guys have been following the series, I've been trying to pick up uh, Pache's on a deal or, or uh, on a discounted price, just trying to stockpile a little bit because I'm, I have a feeling and I'm hoping that he becomes a big player. And if so, uh, maybe we can uh, flip these down the line for some good money. So I don't normally do this with people, but uh, uh, I usually collect. I'm not an investor type of collector, but uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. And uh, who better than someone that's on a team that I follow? So, so I'm going to share with you guys some pickups that we've gotten. We have some uh, raw cards as well as some graded cards. And then... Uh, then I could put these with the rest of the collection so far. So hope you guys enjoy these cards as I show them off. And uh, let me know what your favorite is or, or favorites uh, down in the comments. So the first one we have is we have this Tops 2021. This is some kind of insert. So we got the, got the uh, 70th anniversary Tops there. Logo in the corner, you can see Rookie, so it's 2021. Uh, very nice Pache right there. We got this Rookie Performers out of Heritage. Um, uh, the cards that I'm showing you, I've gotten for $2 or less. Uh, if it's more than that, I'll let you know. So uh, $2 or less for these. Uh, rookie Performers, Christian Pache again out of Heritage. Very nice looking card. We have the Topps Allen & Ginter. Pache Rookie. Very, very nice. Uh, next, we have uh, some multiples. So let me take these out real quick. So we have this Top 100 Bowman Scouts Bowman Chrome Rookie card. You can see he's number 14 right there. 14th out of the 100 there. And we got a second one. And then we picked up this Rookie of the Year Favorites, Christian Pache out of Bowman Chrome. Fantastic looking uh, prism there. This is actually uh, one of my favorite designs uh, so far. So I really do like that card. So we got that one. Let's see what else we picked up. So I have, uh, I've been getting some Tops rookies, but I have not picked up the holiday ones yet. So this is the uh, base holiday. I'm looking at some short prints as well, but uh, figured I'd snag this since I got it for under $2. So we got the holiday base right there. We got the green mosaic. It's another great pickup card looks amazing we got this uh bowman's best uh i know the case is the case is scratched up so it's not gonna do it justice but it's the uh franchise 2020 this card is sweet uh you can see it's a die cut that's got the rounded corners let me show you the the back franchise 2020 again for the price i couldn't pass it up so i was like yeah i'll just uh Take it, add it to the collection, and then we have the Pink Optic 2021 Pache. So I figured for the the price I got it for, I'll pick up the variation, the color variation, and be happy. And then I have another pack of cards I got to open up. So we got this Bowman Best uh, Rookie Craftsmanship. Now this is another card I just love. That is one great looking card right there. And we got the Allen and Ginter Tops Chrome. And we got another Allen and Ginter Tops Chrome. And that is it for the raw cards, guys. 
we are moving on to the graded cards. So our first graded card pickup was this uh, 2018 Bowman Mega Box uh, Christian Pache Chrome. It's a near mint to mint eight. Um, picked it up. Be, be, picked it up for the deal that I got it for, guys. Um, I would say I, I got a lot of cards uh, from this seller, but I would say that it's definitely one of those that I got for uh, on average less than ten dollars. This next one. Uh, I didn't have I didn't have a Topps Chrome uh, slabbed, so I picked this nine up. I got this nine for eight dollars shipped, so we got it for eight dollars shipped. You can see it's a CSG nine right there. Uh, again, just couldn't pass it up for eight dollars. Um, jump all over that. We're going to hope that nothing falls, and as soon as I said that, something fell, right? We should know everything falls. So uh, let's see here. Let's set these up. The next one I have for you guys is this 2021 Tops Heritage. Got a 9.5 Mint Plus from SGC. Picked this one up for a pretty good deal as well. I want to say it was probably about... Uh, 12 to 15 dollars like i said i got it in a lot of cards so you know it's not like i know the exact price i'm kind of averaging it out so this was probably in the 12 to 15 dollar range but i didn't have any of these uh heritage in action cards so definitely glad to get that one it's just not wanting to stand up on these stands there we go the next one we picked up is this 2018 Bowman Chrome. Uh, it's the Mega Box again, just like this one. Uh, this is uh, Gem Mint 10 from GMA. So this one was a little bit pricier just because it was a Gem Mint. But overall, this card is fantastic. And... Um, Definitely like how it turned out. And then last, turn the camera just a little bit. And then last but not least, we picked up the 2018 Bowman Prospects Chrome. And this is a Gem Mint 10. It's the first Bowman. So... Uh, basically picked this up because it was Chrome. It was a Chrome Bowman card, of course, and it got a Gem in ten. So hard to pass up the Gem tens. So it's kind of one of those things that uh, if he takes off, this is probably going to be one of the cards that's going to jump with it. So uh, you know, sucked it up, got the Gem ten, and uh, we'll put it away and just uh, cross my fingers and hope. <laughs> so uh, there you go. That is it for the pickups on the Christian Pache investment journey. I'm hoping that uh, he gets things going. Uh, his his average is uh, not doing so well. Um, but in the games that I've been watching lately, he does make a ton of contact. He does hit the ball hard. I think uh, if he can break out of this uh, slump that he's in, uh, continue hitting the ball hard, that they're going to find they're going to find holes and and he'll get that average up a little bit. But uh, um, yeah, just hoping that uh, he can get things going, turned around. Uh, like I said, with him being on the A's, he's allowed to kind of fight through these slumps and just uh, keep playing and just keep getting experience. And that's one of the reasons I, I thought he'd be a good choice uh, is that he'd have every opportunity. So again, we're hoping he turns things around here and gets out of the slump and starts getting his numbers back up again. But uh, it's a marathon and not a sprint. So we will uh, keep following him, keep picking up cards uh, that we can find deals for, and see what happens. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys all have a blessed evening. Until our next video, see ya.